Hey guys, this is Epson Workforce Printer. Epson Workforce WF3820 DW printer. This printer is multifunctional printer. It's multitask, it's four in one. In the sense you can copy, scan, and print from this gear. This printer is using Ink 405. 405 or 405 extra large. A lot of people have been asking me how do you replace the ink? Okay, so right now I'm just gonna bring this printer up and lift up the the ink cartridge is, is right here. It's using 405 ink, 405. Okay, BK, C, M, and yellow. Okay, check my video how we install the ink. What I want to show you is how to replace. Okay replace or remove the ink cartridges okay you can't force it right now you cannot force it okay so what i want to show you is how to replace the ink cartridges and to do that what we need to do is just gently close this printer okay close it now you go to this printer is touch screen you can do a lot of stuff with this printer okay just need to select what you want to do if you go on top of the menu the first one is ink the second one is wi-fi okay another one is okay this is for you to mute to select quiet mode and mute okay device sound setting so if you want it to mute then you select it if you want it to be quiet then you select this is sound okay we'll go back okay now also this is actually no present, no added present, okay? We'll go back. So you can select so many functions. You can copy, scan, and fast from here, okay? And also memory stick. This is where to stick the memory. It goes in here. You can have your picture on your memory and print it out from this printer, okay? You can also select maintenance. From the maintenance, you can print adjustment, print quality adjustment, print head nozzle, check, and print head cleaning print head ad adjustment ink cartridge replacement paper guide cleaning okay so this is the ink cartridge replacement clickness replace ink cartridge clickness and okay it show you open the scanner unit replace the ink okay so if you open the scanner unit okay the ink cartridge holder will move and come right in the middle for you to change it here we go okay so this how to replace the ink the other thing I want to show you is also, you can also close it, okay? So right now it's processing, we just need to wait. Okay, replacement complete, click OK. So this is how to, okay, so replace the ink by going through maintenance or setting. The other thing you can do also, so if you want to replace the ink, okay, before we do that, this is settings. So with this, this is general settings, supply status, maintenance, okay. Sometimes people want to know about printer status, okay. So you can see restore default setting, firewall update, customer research, user settings, print status sheets. Sometimes people want to know printer status sheet. If you want to print information about Configuration status sheet, select on it, okay. Load A4 paper to print configuration status sheet, okay. So double-sided or one, just, if you want it double-sided, then you select double-sided, double print. But the only one, okay, select print. So right now, configuration sheet is what is printing out, okay. This is configuration status for your printer, okay. It's also something people want to no okay so this is the configuration status sheet okay you can see it will tell us it will give you the serial number for the printer okay firewall information okay and this is just exactly the configuration status sheet for this printer and also tell you paper a4 paper okay so these are the information about this okay memory disk okay okay so this is the configuration sheet about this printer 
is what we have done right now the other thing i want to show you is then if you want to su supply status sheet usage history sheet okay so it can tell you user things you have done this printer user history sheet print print okay so right now you see it's telling us usage color scan number of scan page okay so this is a usage information how many total black and white page total printing okay these are the information things history and it will show you the date okay this is a usage history sheet okay the other thing i want to show you is also so if we go back okay if we go back then go back okay to remove the ink okay you can also select ink from the top okay replace ink or print supplier status replace ink select replace ink okay replace ink cartridges click next now open the scanner unit replace the ink so open the scanner once you open it up okay so right now once it's here the next you need to do is just gently remove the black okay this is the ink black okay do the same thing to this is blue and once you remove it it will show you it's empty okay the next you can see the two red and yellow still full so remove the red you can see right now red is empty from the screen I'm going to bring the camera close because you see you can see the rest B, K, C, and M are empty. So what we have here right now is only yellow remain. Okay, so we just need to remove yellow. Okay, I can you can see right now they're all empty. Okay, so this is how to remove the ink cartridges, okay, and also print usage memory sheet and configuration status okay just gonna remove it if you're happy with this tutorial please do consider to subscribe it help the channel gently close it okay so right now it's processing okay ink cartridges is not installed okay you can see ink cartridges is not installed correctly because everything is removed okay so right now this is how to remove the ink okay and this is also how to remove the paper trail the paper we have here is a4 paper okay okay so guys Thank you very much indeed and stay blessed. This is how to remove the ink, print out usage history sheet and configuration report. Thank you and stay blessed. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.